Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you some friend mail I got from Aubrey Trebert. I think that's how you pronounce her last name, but I will link her down in the description box below. We've been chatting over the last couple months, I think. Um, she also has a channel and so we've just been kind of getting to know each other and she had posted um, some collection videos on her channel and I was watching and there was one particular vendor that she was showing that I told her I've been trying to uh, try but I haven't really found anything that's in my scent preferences to purchase and so she was kind enough to send me one she thought would be in my scent preferences, preference to try and so I was expecting just you know a little sample and when I got the package, it was much more than just the one little sample. So thank you so much, Aubrey, for sending me some extras to try. She sent me some uh, companies that I haven't tried at all and a few that I've heard of. So I just wanted to come on here and share this video with you so that I could get melting on some of these because I'm super excited about a lot of it. So what we had talked about was this one. So she actually was so nice and sent me little notes on each of the pieces of wax to let me know who it's from, how it performs in her home, if the company's still in business and little things like that. So this is from British Creepy Treasures. And it's a scent called Rose Red, which for me has two like pulls towards it because I am a big fan of Stephen King's Rose Red miniseries. I really enjoy that show and I watch it almost every year, I'd say. In fact, we're probably going to watch it again this October. Uh, but this one is Rose, Yellow Cake, Vanilla Bean, and Marshmallow. Now, I'm a big fan of Rose Fragrances. I'm not so much of a fan of the foodie type fragrances though, but she thought that I would like this and so I'm definitely interested in trying it. They are two little jack-o'-lantern pieces of wax and so this will be my first try into Brita's Creepy Treasures. And this actually, I'm not getting a lot of the yellow cake so this might actually work really well for me. I'm definitely picking up that rose fragrance and it's a rose fragrance that I really like. I can definitely get something creamy. So that must be the vanilla bean, or maybe it's vanilla bean marshmallow. Like not separate scent notes, vanilla bean and marshmallow, just vanilla bean marshmallow. This is nice. I think I am going to enjoy that. So I'm definitely going to give this a go and report back later. So that was the first scent she sent was British Creepy Tre Treasures Rose Red. So then the second one that I have here is another rose fragrance. And she said that she had two clams of this. So she thought she'd share one with me. And so this is from... Pacific Northwest Wax Melts in Sweet Rose. So this is a six pack clam. And this, oh, that's really nice. That's a definite rose fragrance. I'm not sure what else might be in there because all I'm getting is rose. But that's really nice. I think I'm going to really enjoy that. So that is Pacific Northwest Wax Melts. Um, it says by 77 Lacquer. I'm not familiar with that company at all, so I'm definitely going to have to take a look. So that is Pacific Northwest Wax Melts in Sweet Rose. And then I have a couple of uh, scent shots. So these are from Bodies Harmony which apparently is no longer in business but she offered to share some of that with me so i've got two scent shots here the first one is in holiday shopping list this is christmas bliss snowflakes and cashmere 
So this one is a nice like tealy color wax and you can see there's glitter on there. This is a sweet Christmassy tree type fragrance. But on the bottom I'm definitely getting like a cashmere type fragrance. I'm also getting like a fresh note. So maybe that's the snowflakes. Oh, I think that's really going to be nice, too. And it's so pretty. Look at that. How fun. So that is Holiday Shopping List. And then the other one is White Christmas. This is White Birch and I Smell Snow. So this is a white wax with iridescent, oops, iridescent uh, sparkles. And this is also a very nice tree scent. I smell Christmas tree though, not like birch. And I'm pretty sensitive to birch. But this is really nice. I'm really enjoying that. So that is going to be nice to try as well. Just wanna make sure I get all of those little pieces of wax in the cup so that is white christmas so i'm excited to try those and then she sent me one from the melt stash this is in roasted pine cone so this one says that she likes the melt stash it's a good performer in her home all the wax is white so it's no frills easy to clean so that's really good information to know. So roasted pine cones. That's nice too. It's really like holiday. I'm getting a little bit of a tree note too. And I'm really big on like tree notes this time of the year. Like I've already started melting my tree, <laughs> tree type fragrances. I find that tree type fragrances are like a year round fragrance for me. They're more of a fresh scent than a holiday scent. And so I really enjoy melting tree type fragrances in my home or like Christmas tree type. But this is really nice. I'm excited to try that. So that is roasted pine cones from the Melt Stash. It comes in this little like chocolate bar type configuration. Oh, there are even instructions. Oh, it's just a normal like instructions. <clears throat> and then the last one I have here is from Savannah Blue, who I've heard of but haven't actually looked into yet. So this is Welcome Christmas. It's Cinnaberries, Campfire Marshmallow, and Christmas Trees. And so it says it's a tree scent for me to try that this wax company is hit or miss for her, but she hopes it performs for me. So that's very nice. And this clam or six pack of wax is gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Love that. Oh, and this smells really good too. I'm really getting another tree. <laughs> getting that tree. I get some like cinnamon and some berries. I find that campfire marshmallow doesn't usually come across to me when I'm smelling like waxes. Like I'm, I don't get the campfire, which is fine because I'm not a big fan of that particular fragrance. But this is really nice. I'm excited to mount that. So that's super Christmassy. And so, yeah, looking forward to that as well. So that is everything she sent me. A lot more than I thought she was going to send. But I'm really thankful that I have all of these new vendors to try. And maybe I'll find another favorite in there as well. So thank you again, Aubrey, for sending all of these my way. I hope to reciprocate very soon. And so that's everything I have. So let me know down in the comments below if you have tried any of these vendors and what you thought of them. 
and what your favorite fragrances from these vendors are, I would really love to know. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me that Christmas tree emoji down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.